With DrawPad, you can easily make a logo that is both unique and easily scalable. You are able to do this because DrawPad uses vector formats. A vector graphic is based on mathematics. So even after saving your file at the size of a postage stamp, you can increase it to the size of a billboard with the same level of quality. To get started, create a new project from the welcome window. Because we are creating a logo, I am using a transparent background. If you would like to have a background color, simply click on the background layer, select a color, and set the opacity to 100%. Choose your first color by opening the color picker. You can enter specific color values, or just choose the color that looks perfect to you. Now that you have your color, select a drawing tool from the toolbar and start designing your logo. I am going to use the line tool to create a rooftop. In the panel at the right, you will see options for the tool that you are using. I'm going to increase the width of my lines. To change colors, simply go back to the color picker and select a new value. As you draw, you can use copy and paste to create an identical element. Use the resize handles on an object to change the size. There are many different drawing tools that can be used to make your vision a reality. Using the rectangle tool with fill creates the windows in this logo. The element selection tool is used to select an element for editing or to move the element to a new location. Be creative as you use the different drawing tools to create new shapes. An ellipse overlapping our rectangles finishes off our windows. You can use the eyedropper tool to make sure that you are using an exact color match. For our next element, I do not want to use fill, so I'm going to drop the fill opacity to 0% in the color picker. Control C and Control V are the copy and paste shortcut commands. I've decided that I want to change the color of one of the lines I just drew. To change it to black, I use the element selection tool to select it. Now I just select black from the color picker. My final step will be to add the company name using the text tool. Use the text options located in the panel at the right to get the font, alignment, and color settings just right. Finally, save your finished logo as a DRP. This will enable you to easily edit your logo without starting from scratch or losing quality. Whether you need your logo for print or web, you can resize it on the Edit tab and save it as a PNG, SVG, ICO, JPEG, and many other popular image formats. To download DrawPad and make your own logo, visit the address shown on your screen.